Let's go, baby. Ah. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the How Diaries podcast, the best podcast in Bacolod City. A very well-known fact and, of course, backed up by statistics. <laughs> yeah, for sure. My name is Tris and this is my partner in crime, the sneaky raccoon Sophia. And we aim to entertain you guys with high-quality audio content, mainly about about the Bacolod lifestyle to keep you cultured and in the know. So I suggest you tune in. And before we start, we would like to ask you to leave a like, follow, subscribe, and maybe share the podcast if you think it's good. You can watch it with video on YouTube, turn on the post notification bell to get updates, and also on Facebook. And for audio only, you can listen to us on Spotify, Buzzsprout, and Reason.fm. All the links and handles will be in the description below. How was that? <laughs> that was great. Really? I was <laughs> I was so hyped. I've been I've been working on this for like a while now. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of you, dude. That was great. Thank you so much. And you you care to explain why <laughs> you're the sneaky <laughs> raccoon? <laughs> well, why you're the one who gave me that nickname? Well, it's guys, because uh, yeah. She she's always like hanging out in fields and stuff, as she told me. This is what happened when we first met. She told me like, "Hey man, you know how you know you know you have fields in your school and you just like hang out and watch the sky and stuff." I'm like, damn, <laughs> the first time I've been hearing, I've heard like someone just hanging out in fields, and of course I thought of a raccoon, and that's how she yeah, became this sneaky raccoon. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm powered by Mountain Dew. Also, so if you'd like to sponsor us, Mountain Dew. I'm on it. Yeah, Mountain Dew, please. We need some Mountain Dew in our life. We can even do like ads for you guys. So come on, hit us up. We have our business (laughs) account ready. (laughs) It's going to be on the description below. You know? Yeah, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Okay. With this, I want to start with us talking about our week. I want want the people to know what a week is like in Bacall City. And, you know, just Uh, how, how is everything? Like, what did you do to th- this week? Um, literally so much. I I'm going to my calendars right now because I'm trying to remember what <laughs> freaking day it was. By okay, the so way, the week started. She's mm-hmm. she's organized as fuck. You could guess your zodiac sign. Just just comment down below if you know of zodiac signs that are organized and stuff. <laughs> we could talk about yeah. that soon. Yeah, definitely. Those who are into astrology, we're definitely going to talk about that soon. So stay tuned, all right? All right. This week started with Valentine's Day. Oh, right. I forgot. We talked about that last week. (laughs) See? We totally forgot because, like, so much happened in one week. I can't believe it's only been one week. I know. Man. (laughs) So, Valentine's Day. What, What have you? What have you been doing on your Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day, it was a normal day for me. Just, just single, and I wasn't even ready to mingle at all. So, well, Valentine's <laughs> Day was spent at home and at the gym, guys. What a lovely life I have. How about so you, Soph? <laughs> me, I I spent the day meeting up with friends that I couldn't like internet friends, you know. Mm-hmm. Cause you know Valentine's Day isn't just about romantic couple love. You gotta give some friend love also. And this was like the perfect day that, because one of these friends, I've never met him ever. So this is the first time that we'd meet. It actually was really good. Like, I swear, we we had like a really smooth conversation. Man. No stops, no awkwardness and anything. And in the afternoon, I went to Ayala, mm-hmm. also in Bacolod. Yeah, they have really great um, stuff going on there. They sometimes have like live music and the rooftop. Yeah. You know, it is it's open. Usually they open it only at four. Yeah. But that day, since it was a special day, I guess, it was open the whole day. So like there's a lot of people there wearing aesthetic fits and having photo shoots and stuff. I yeah, haven't so been fun. to the rooftop. I haven't been there. I wanted I wanna be there, but no one I, I'm so it's so weird that no one really wants to come with me to the Ayala rooftop. I don't know why. I know. Let, let's hit it up together. I'm but right like, here, bro. I know, I know. And now we're going to take fire fit out fit pics there. <laughs> Not feet pics, guys. Fit pics. God. <laughs> That's just going to be so weird. <laughs> yeah. 
We're definitely gonna do that. And that time, have you seen? Have you have you heard of that bridge where they put like locks for couples and then? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's yeah. in. Uh, I forgot where it is. Is it in Paris? And there's another one yeah, in. Somewhere. Yeah, somewhere in Europe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, somewhere there. So they had that thing. It, of course, obviously, it wasn't a bridge. It's on a fucking rooftop. But like, it's like a heart shape, mm-hmm. and you can put locks there. And then there was like a bunch of locks there, so it was pretty sweet. Ah, uh, did you put some locks there, or like, nah? No, but the friend that I went there with, he offered like, we should do that. We should buy something. And then I, I said, yeah, yeah, we should. But we ended up just sitting there eating and talking the whole time. For Hours and hours, so we kind of didn't do it anymore. Oh, and for e- so- and for everyone watching though, since you mentioned that you were eating, do they have like f- a food stand up there? Like you you buy something from Ayala below, then just bring it up there. Well, normally b- before you get to go up to the rooftop, you need to have a receipt that you bought something inside Ayala. Anywhere though, yeah. at, from any any establishment or like ah, yeah, yeah. all right. As long as it's in the yellow, even if you just buy a bottle of water, it's fine. Good Can to know. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> so Dude, what happened with your friend? Time, the first time we went up there in the rooftop, um, it was after we watched Fireman No Way Home with my friends. We went oh. up there because we were like, we'd never been up there before, and then we were like tipsy, and we were like, oh, you need to watch the sunset. It was doing tipsy. <laughs> It's all those stuff. And like, when we went up there, we couldn't go up because the guard told us we need to buy something. And we just bought... Oh, no. We used our movie tickets. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's valid. I mean, like, if I were the security guard, though, listen to this. If I were the security guard, though, if I see kids or, like, young adults have Spider-Man tickets, then would want to go to the rooftop that would be kind of sus to me like <laughs> oh Dude, my we just watch spider-man i mean like what if, what, what if they freaking jump off the <laughs> rooftop and try <laughs> 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 and another girl and guy just reported dead <laughs> in <Macaulay City. laughs> it's called a stunt <laughs> Man, I thought I was Spider Man, but man, I was just drunk. (laughs) (laughs) Apparently. (laughs) Apparently, we just got tipsy. Anyway, yeah, it was for those who don't know, yeah, you need to you need a receipt before you can go up there. Good thing it's a good thing we had our movie tickets. Or else we'd have to like, you know, try to buy a bottle of water just to go up. Just to go up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're smart. I didn't I wouldn't have thought of my movie ticket. You would have just panicked. No, not panic. I would just like I'll be like, um, oh, I, I would it. negotiate with the guard first. I think that would be my first reaction. Like, no, oh, come on. I mean, we're already here. <laughs> <laughs> why, why turn us down, man? And like maybe use a an attractive friend to coax him into letting me yeah. into the <laughs> up yeah, to the rooftop. Yeah, it's just a rooftop, man. We're just gonna watch something, you know. I mean, there are I other mean... people. <laughs> yeah. Does it really yeah. matter? <laughs> Are they really going to know? I mean, yeah. Grandma? You're not going to lose your job. No, no, no. We, we shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Dude, what if like they listen to this and they're like, all right, we're not going to fall for that. <laughs> F- freaking get our picture up there and like we're banned. <laughs> That's so... It would suck. <laughs> I know. Like, wh- I mean, <laughs> we're just joking, man. <laughs> <laughs> we literally just said that we're going to go there and then when we go there, it's there's like picture of us already yeah but we're banned what did we do i mean like if, i mean like i mean like if if they post a picture i hope it's like kind of our fire pics right good fits you know because yeah. people are gonna walk yeah. by that and see like oh my god these guys are banned but like they do look cool though <laughs> they look yeah they look swagalicious <laughs> oh that's cool swagalicious all right <laughs> okay so day two yeah. so my day one was like nothing just oh update on the gym like when you when you walk into the gym the coach would eventually just say oh well that's valentine's that's in hilagain on by the way guys well that's a valentine's <laughs> like no coach this is just me gonna be in my feels right now in the gym <laughs> mm-hmm. it's the best yeah. time to work out because you feel lonely and you feel and you feel like <laughs> you need to redeem yourself or something i worked out good 
I worked out Dude, chest. You did, yeah, you mentioned that during Valentine's there was a lot of sad people in the gym. Yeah, dude. It was like The Walking Dead, but like with single people. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> just every, everyone just like walking around, taking their weights. No one actually talk. No one's actually talking to each other and it's all guys. <laughs> oh my God. There's like five or six of us in there just, you know, doing our thing. Maybe listening to a yeah. podcast. Maybe listening to this podcast. Hmm. Come on, guys. Listen to our podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shameless and... plug. <laughs> <laughs> it okay. would be fun. Though. Yeah, I know. Okay, enough about Valentine's. We, I think we covered enough last week for Valentine's. Yeah. It's it's already too far gone. Let's look forward to next year. Maybe we get, you know, dates or something. But like, eh, if you're not into relationships, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Okay, day two. What happened day two? What happens on a Tuesday in Bacolod City? Mm, maybe I'll start. Tuesday, I think it was the day we met up, right? Yeah, it was. It was Tuesday, right? Yeah, it was the next day. No, okay, this is what happened. This is why I had I wanted to hang out with my friend. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> because, like, I posted uh, my day of me being on the rooftop, and, you know, just hanging out and stuff. And then he was actually somewhere near. He was in the lagoon. That's just across from Ayala yeah, I know. and it's it's been several times already that I am outside and I'm somewhere near and he's outside and he's also somewhere near but we never ever cross each other we literally haven't seen each other in two years dude and we're always so close it's yet so far oh, yeah, yeah 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 so we kind of like just got you know we got sick of it and we just told each other you know what if I told him you know what when I go out I'm gonna let you know now so that <coughs> So that you would be able to, like, hang out. And he said, yeah, sure. And the next day, yeah. I got the chance. I was able to. So I just told him, hey, I'm going to go out today. And that's how we got to hang out. Yeah. And, of course, I'd tell you, too, because we also had it. <laughs> <laughs> we got, you know, guys, we, me and Sophie, we really try to, to do our best to hang out with each other. Because, like, what's a, fuck, what's a freaking podcast when you and your other <laughs> co-hosts don't really hang out? I mean... Yeah. Online's great, but you know we're more of the face-to-face kind. Of course, with safe safety measures and shit. But like, it's not it's not it's not the same if you guys are hanging out and it's just online. It's better to laugh and kind of slap each other. It's like, oh my god, this is so funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> Different guys with the slaps. Yeah, you you'll know. know, you'll know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, by the way, we're we're planning to to post a lot of TikTok soon because, of course, we're really trying to meet each other and stuff. So, look forward to that, guys. The How Diaries podcast mm-hmm. on TikTok. Last week, you're looking forward to Spotify. We made it happen, and now it's TikTok. We're gonna make it happen too. We're gonna try and meet yeah. up <laughs> anytime this week. <laughs> Please support it because if you all support it, we're gonna really gonna try to keep making TikToks. So we're gonna keep meeting up. Yeah, and being consistent and stuff like that. Ah. Uh, Oh, yeah. This is so fun. <laughs> okay, so, anyway, so on Tuesday, yeah, dude, Tuesday. on Tuesday, actually, we didn't really get into details. So we're supposed to go bowling, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And yeah, then yeah. Um, there was a problem. <laughs> there was a problem. There's the, there was really bad traffic. There was really bad traffic. Here, here's what happened. Like, I thought I initially thought that Sophie was gonna meet Sophie and our new friend i don't know if you could say the name maybe not because like you don't have consent maybe. yet yeah. very important <laughs> very important and like me and sophie were talking like i initially thought that she was gonna meet me at low quest because i have work in the morning which is of course every day seven to around maybe three fifteen, three thirty. so i was like maybe we should meet up like at low quest because you know to save time but mm-hmm. Sophie didn't know that apparently, <laughs> and <laughs> and she has to, of course, you know, go home early because you know we can't we can't stay out late. It's you know, it's difficult for young women, young beautiful women, to stay out late this time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for mentioning that. Yes, very beautiful, guys. I'm buttering <laughs> up. <laughs> we 
Comment below if you think Sophie's beautiful. Hit her up in the DMs. All right. Yo, hey yo. All <laughs> the right. handles are down below. <laughs> okay. So this is what happened. Um, we were planning to go bowling, and like, we could only meet up for around two to three hours. Right. That's that was the yeah. initial plan. And like, I'm just gonna take her then to the terminal and stuff like that, where she's gonna go home and stuff. But like. <laughs> the miscommunication happened, and we and I ended up meeting her at the lagoon, which what where she mentioned she was with that other friend. And yeah. now that we're struggling with the time, I just thought like, you know, fuck it, let's 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 go let's go to my favorite bar. Shout out to not bar, it's actually like a mix of a cafe and a resto bar. It's called Arima, yeah. guys. You you might have seen it in my reels and my stories and everywhere. Because I love that place. And I took Sophie there and it was her first time to go there. Yeah. How was it? You think it was good? Yo, I loved it. I love the atmosphere, especially in the second floor. I really love the way that it makes you feel like it's nighttime, but it's really not. Yeah, the vibe is so good. And like, the uh, it wasn't so jam-packed that we felt like... Um, we felt, you know, overcrowded and stuff. It was just the right amount of people. The music was great. And they also have this TV where you could watch movies and stuff while, you know, doing your thing. We drank coffees and eventually made it Irish. If anyone who's cultured know that, what that means. And like, it was really fun. Tuesday was really fun. And I don't really go out on the weekdays. And I think Sophie's trying to teach me to break out of my routine and have fun on the weekdays. <laughs> Yeah, look, ever since we met, he's always had to compromise the schedule because of, you know... I'm a busy person, guys. And I'm, I'm not even blaming her. I'm just, I just try to do some something productive every day. And, like, you know, with all the voiceovers and stuff like that, it's kind of hard. And I'm yeah. concentrating on physical fitness this year, so I really need to go to the gym. But, Sophie, thank you so <laughs> much for brightening my day for even just two or to three hours. <laughs> no problem that's what I do my man and now we're eventually gonna meet up every week <laughs> <laughs> eventually yeah you're yeah, gonna yeah. need to because you need to do some content you know yeah TikToks watch out for that reels everything and yeah so that was Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday hmm anything good happen to you? Well, Wednesday oh wait 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 I, I need to reel it back in so I was what? I was I was taking Sophie when we when we were done with Arima. Oh my god, this is a fucking funny story. <laughs> I was like <laughs> Of course, not gonna lie, we were we were, you know, lightly intoxicated, which yeah. we, we can we're we're both adults, we can really talk about that now. We're not kids anymore. We were lightly intoxicated. I know I know a lot of people can relate to this especially you working guys every after office i know what you guys do <laughs> so so i took her to the place where she needed to go so we, she can go home her mode of transportation and i was like um i was confused because i have i'm not super familiar with this part of town you know I, I rarely come i rarely go there and like i'm not familiar with the commute anymore since i've got my car not a flex of course but like of course you understand if you got a car you're not riding jeeps anymore so what the mm. hell so it's like <laughs> i was i i, I saw the, this terminal for jeeps and i was like hmm where does that go that was the initial thought process where does that go so i was i i looked at sophie who was of course <laughs> faded <laughs> she was just looking straight like clutching her bag and like just just vibing with the music and i'm like hey so so what what are those like what what's that i was just like i was like that it was of course in Nilongo, so it's different but like it was kind of like anuna and she was like jip and like, <laughs> <laughs> i got i got so flipped off over this and i was like i know what the fuck those are man i know those are jeeps where do they go <laughs> and i she said was, it so confidently i was like Jeep. Uh, yeah. Bro, I know, but like. <laughs> Bro, I I mean, <laughs> I'm not stupid. <laughs> Dude, 
<laughs> yeah. So that was yeah. our second meetup, by the way, guys. <laughs> We're just having fun with it. <laughs> it was kind of, I was so faded. Yeah, yeah. It was so fun. And like <laughs> that story. I'll, I'll never forget it. Because <laughs> in contrast, like, you know, I, I told you that I don't go out on weekdays and really go anywhere because I'm working and stuff. But like, it just it just feels like now that I have that memory, it makes me want to do stuff on the weekdays now. And like, I need to come back to this tweet I made a while ago where I did some deep thinking, guys. I hope you guys do that too because like it really could change your life to just sit back and just think about life. And here, I'm going to read out the tweet and I know Sophia's read this already. Why in the world am I living on a per week basis when I should really be taking it one day at a time? Really zoning in on this 24 hour cycle and getting the most out of it. Like, let's live each day and make something happen for each day freaking day so like we would have more memories instead of like just waiting for the weekends I, I'm talking to you guys those who are really busy on the weekdays like try try and do something on try to do something every day that's a little bit memorable so you don't kind of feel like you're wasting away just simply existing and doing that simple that same routine you do every day and just like it's gonna kill you guys eventually not kill you in mm-hmm. a physical sense but like your emotions like- and your, your mental health all of that stuff. You got to have fun with it. Just keep it breezy. And that's what yeah. Sophie's teaching me every day now. <laughs> hey, I'm actually glad. Because you know what? Before, I it was me who needed that. And then, yeah, yeah. But like, no one really told me about it. Like, just like you, I just thought about it myself. Mm-hmm. You know, and I started applying it to myself. I think I was like senior high at the time. Mm-hmm. I started doing that. Like every single day, I tried to do something memorable. Or meaningful, yeah. Yeah, and you can just even you can even if you can just do like you're trans you're doing commute mm-hmm. and try to romanticize it or something else. Like it's this this is a really nice commute. Something like that. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. So Do- it really, really helped. And then in the end it just became unconscious, you know, it just became an unconscious thing for me. Mm-hmm. And I started to um have this positive aura and then I like how I like how people would comment on it saying that they actually like it the the the, like, the way that i affect them and i'm like pretty happy about it yeah it wasn't my intention but i'm just glad that's that's what happened you know the outcome yeah positivity attracts positive positivity as well sorry i messed that up <laughs> positive positivity <laughs> yeah. attracts positivity that's good yeah, i'm so glad that it also you know made it's helping me out yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah 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 that was the jeep story and wednesday and thursday wednesday what the heck did i do on wednesday uh nothing really nothing nothing really that impactful but i'm super sure that i i did something out of the ordinary like me too like i'm pretty sure i did something every single day because i feel so busy Mm-hmm. I felt so busy. Yeah, we were busy this week, huh? weren't we? Like, you know what? When weekend came, when the weekend came, I felt so. I felt so. Com- I don't know what. I felt like I I compressed everything <laughs> that I wanted to let out and just like did a freaking rager this weekend. It felt so good. I mean, I was so happy. Mm-hmm. It was so. It was so difficult, and like. Me and Sophie have been talking every day since, like, the past week. And we were talking about, like, how TikToks are a good thing now. It, yeah. We, I think I think, I think think people people have such a short attention span these days. And, like, everyone, Bacalod Nuns, I really advise you guys to go on TikTok and not... Because I've, I've seen people being like, eh, TikTok's not really good for you. It's just a stupid bunch of stupid kids just fucking dancing there and, like, making lip mm-hmm. syncs yes of course there's a big part of it that that is that but like there's also like also like 50 percent to 60 percent of it like which is educational relatable uh, about culture there are podcast clips in there too that you could just watch and like ev- everything like anime k-dramas everything you need like tiktok yeah. is the best medium to 
to freaking stimulate your 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 mind because the attention span 15 seconds it after 15 seconds what you still watching that long ass video <laughs> watch a tiktok get yeah. learn a little bit then get on to the next tiktok it's so good and of course the memes yeah. of course the memes i mean what we talked about is uh how tiktok is so much better than um let's say youtube because mm-hmm. In YouTube, sometimes, most of the time, actually, they have to go through this whole intro thing. And then sometimes they kind of, like, stretch the point mm-hmm. and try, try to try to go for this time that they're aiming for. That yeah. They're aiming for 10 like, minutes. minutes or yeah, yeah. yeah. And, like, in TikTok, most of the time, like, it's ed- educational TikToks, they go straight to the point. When the, the, the video starts, they're already on the point. They're already getting there. And it just saves time, you know? Especially for those who have a short t- uh, attention span, it really mm-hmm. saves time. Mild ADHD right here. <laughs> a little mild. <laughs> D- don't we all? But like, no, we're, we're not knocking off YouTube videos or like, especially this, because of course we're going to upload this on YouTube and podcasts and stuff like that. But then yeah, if, you're, yeah. if you're looking for something to stimulate your brain and, and you're really going to be like, hey, I didn't th- I didn't think I was gonna learn something today or like entertain myself today. Why not go on TikTok and don't and don't be that guy who's oh my god TikTok is so bad. Stupid kids just flaunting their asses and like their tits and stuff. It's yeah, I mean, dude, it's actually algorithm. Like if that's what you're mostly watching, I mean, if that's what's mostly going up on your for you page. It's probably because it's mostly what you're watching. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's no shame <laughs> in that. But like, if you're if you're hating on it, then that's on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't hate, the, hate the app. Don't hate the app. Yeah, <laughs> hate the content creators that you don't like, but don't hate the app. But at the end of the day, don't be a freaking hater. Let just, just like let people be. There's this nice line, like just let people be happy, and you'll be happier as well. You know? Mm-hmm. Why? Why mm-hmm. are you giving your time a day to <laughs> to hate on other people? That's like what. 5, 10, 15 minutes or like an hour of your time just wasted on criticizing other people with your negativity and they're just yeah. like doing their thing and they're happy like what we're they're doing right now content. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There, you like it or you don't like it then if you don't like it skip it <laughs> yeah just scroll away that, that, that easy that like, easy you don't need to leave any hate comments like I mean it's it's common right now for 2022 cancel culture but we got to change that stuff. You got to change that. It's not a good thing. Yeah, it's actually it's pretty toxic, not gonna lie. Mhm. I mean, we were given a medium to talk about our opinions like it's so easy now. All of us have phones, we have cameras, we have the comment section and you know, the share button. There these are a lot of mediums to really talk about what we feel and how our opinions are like pretty much like this podcast you're listening to us talking about our opinions on stuff but at at the end of the day at the end of the day it's your opinion and you can never have this there's it's rare to have the same opinion with other people so you don't really have to share your opinion when you think it's just going to hurt the person like what's the point to hurt a person are you that cruel did your parents Mm -hmm. raise you to be like that I, I think not. I think most parents would raise their ki- kids to respect other people and, like, not show disrespect at all, you know? Yeah, you know, I think the people are doing that. They're mainly just projecting whatever it is they're feeling onto people that they don't know so that they don't have any consequences about it. But then again, they're not thinking about how that could actually affect the people reading it or the one that they're projecting it onto. I agree. Some people are just insecure and... Uh, another thing might be another thing might be they just kind of want attention, you know. Yeah, yeah. Bad okay, media yeah. usually so for, gets attention. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. For for those who are like content creators or whatever their YouTube, TikTok, whatever your platform is, if you're having hate comments, it's probably because they have a lot of stuff going on personally. But don't let it get you know into yeah. your head. Yeah. Don't let it get to you. And yeah, <clears throat> we're gonna probably have hate comments soon, so. We gotta be prepared for that. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm just. I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> just go. Yeah. The more, the more, the more you put in hate <laughs> comments on our podcast, the more you're selling it to other people. <laughs> Not gonna lie. True. Back, 
<laughs> bad it's attention. It's kind of, it's still attention. Yeah. Bad attention is still attention. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. But well, dude, why why are we talking? We're not even. We haven't even made content yet. Let's not bring in the haters before. We're... <laughs> <laughs> we're not manifesting hate with like i mean <laughs> yeah no we're not it's not we're, we're just you know saying yeah we're just being stupid <laughs> <laughs> as always okay anything you want to add like i have this i, I have honestly no... don't remember wednesday you want to talk <laughs> about your you get what i mean yeah that happened on friday though friday saturday yeah I mean, let's just skip Wednesday and Thursday. I think it was, <laughs> it was a chill day for the both of us in a way. I mean, yeah. I am not sure. I'm pretty sure something happened to me, which I don't remember. I remember you went. Just, you you go biking in the afternoons. Yeah, yeah, I did go biking. I did go biking, but in the morning and afternoon, I'm pretty sure something dramatic happened with my friends, but I just don't remember. <laughs> Oh God! Oh, by anyway, the way, yeah. so Sophie takes the best sunset pics. She sends she sends them to me after she goes biking. I like I I'm so jealous. <laughs> We're actually pretty jealous of each other, but like I'm jealous of her because she gets to go near the sea, which I really love. Like I have this mm-hmm. thing where when I'm near the sea, it kind of just feels refreshing to me. And of course, you could really see a good sunset when you're looking out at. On the ocean like on the horizon and like she sends me all these good sunset pics which i don't really see from my house because <laughs> i'm working <laughs> from home and like i mean i could do mm-hmm. that too but like i just don't have the time of day sometimes because of all the stuff that's yeah. happening but like if you guys could just take time to watch the sunset it would really change your life i mean <laughs> it makes it feel better at the end of the day you really appreciate what you re- you can really appreciate why you you've been put here on this earth cuz like sometimes mm-hmm. you don't you you just think about all these all this noise that's in your life and like sometimes when i look at the sunset it just kind of makes me feel like oh man this is beautiful it's just it's just beautiful to get to see something magnificent that i can't even fathom cuz like how how the hell do i do i even how the hell does this even happen you know yeah it's so beautiful man it's it's not it's not it's not over it's not man-made you can't you can't really just hey maybe i should make the sunset like this day let's turn on this dial or something it's just there whatever just religion happened. or deity or like higher power you believe in it's isn't it just beautiful to just look at something which you can't create on your own like mm-hmm. so yeah i really thank sophie for sending me the sunset pics because i when I was younger, <laughs> not not saying that I'm an old man right now, but like when I was younger, I used to have a lot more time to go out on the weekdays too, and like just you know, just be be free and stuff like that. And me and the boys would actually go to this place near my house, which is La Sunset. I don't know if it's that if that's still open. It's up the mountains a little bit, so we go there and we just drink native coffee. And it has this great view of the sunset as well. That's why it's called La Sunset. So oh. I miss those days so much. I was a little bit thinner too, so I miss that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're actually going on like polar opposites and with the with the bodies. Because right now I'm I'm getting thinner, but like in a good way. But... Yeah. Yeah. You're you're physically yeah. fit. You're getting much more fit compared to what you were before. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to yeah. too, man. <laughs> give cat, yeah, give me a break, man. <laughs> I'm not trying to I'm not trying to diss you. <laughs> but he really is, guys. He's really doing yeah, the if, work. If if He's you know, really like, the uh, shout out to my best friend Casper, man. We gotta step it up again, cause like, <laughs> <laughs> it it it's time, man. We. You know, because me and my best friend are, we're two different people. I don't know if I should share this, but I probably I could because, you know, we're two different people. Mm-hmm. I'm this guy which has this uh, much more abrasive personality, I guess. And she, he's much more of the, the calm, peaceful type of person. And, like, 
we were best friends and maybe that's why we we're best friends because we we're total opposites and but still yeah. we li- we we we've seen each other since we were like in first grade and like until now we're still best friends and, like we move in the same direction and it's funny because like when he gets bigger i get bigger it, it's not it's never it's never like it's never like he's so fit right now and i'm still fat yeah. like if, yeah. if this guy's fat it's probably i'm i'm fat too and it, you know when mm-hmm. what friends are like and and there are times when we go to this party or somewhere and people are like aren't weren't you there it's just because like he's my best friend he's just with me everywhere but he wasn't actually there like people are just seeing both of you in the same place most of the time so it's cool it's cool to have friends guys <laughs> i hope sophie could be my best friend soon <laughs> so he's like i could be like eh. yeah definitely <laughs> i can agree with that you could change the name to the bff podcast <laughs> <laughs> no, i'm joking I, there's already a bff podcast you can watch that too guys they have tiktok drama and stuff like that okay Maybe maybe you should hop onto the meat of our podcast right now, which is the value part. Um, me and Sophie, we want to talk about, because uh, you know, guys, we we are in our early twenties, the both of us, and I think it would it would be fun to talk about here the things you need to start doing in your twenties so that you wouldn't regret it in your forties, right? Mm-hmm. That's so mm-hmm. good because, like, when I was younger, like earlier in my twenties, <laughs> it I I I I've always I've always been so confused on like what my path should be or like what I should be doing because you really don't learn that stuff in school mostly. Yeah, you just go on and like. Oh, by the way, your mic's mic's good already. I don't hear the okay. thing anymore. So very nice. Very nice. And like, yeah, so back in school, you just, you know, get your degree, you get social skills, basically, and then you're just put in, you're just like put into the world. Well, Sophie's still in school, but like with what happened with me, I graduated at like 19, which is pretty early, right? If, you know, for for mm-hmm. the for the kids now. And like I was there, like in my early 20s, like what the hell am I supposed to be or what am I supposed to do or should I this should I be this successful already or like am I doing just fine right now just relying on my parents a little bit but still earning money as well and you know you 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 got to learn from the people older than you who who've already been through that stage which is what this article is about and yeah at least you get a get an i get an idea of what you should try and do per se to get through the to get through your 20s so that you would have a more fruitful 30s and 40s when you go when you mm-hmm. grow older. So 17 things to start doing in your 20s you don't live in regret in your 40s. This is from Business Insider, a very reliable source and I think they did surveys and got stories from older people to you know get get mm-hmm. this article published. Okay, I think you're looking at the same thing, Sophie. I sent you the link. Yeah, yeah. So Okay, number one here is like, learn to accept and love yourself first. Oh, maybe I should maybe I should re- read this little intro they got, right? Yeah, yeah. They say youth is wasted on the young. It doesn't have to be. If you take a look at Quora and Reddit, hundreds of people older and wiser than you have shared their best tips for living life to the fullest before you hit middle age. All you have to do is heed their advice. And yeah, they checked those Quora and Reddit threads and highlighted some of the favorite insights. And yeah, they got these tips. So number one is learn to accept and love yourself first. I'm not going to read the description because I want to really get our opinions off on like how you get, how you would perceive this, perceive, perceive the tip and, you know, maybe others could relate because it's much, much more real with the both of us rather than what they got here. Yeah, just reading this. Yeah, so learning to accept and love yourself first, I strongly agree with that. Like, it's not just some sort of cliche thing that people say. It actually really, really helps you, um, especially when you're still young, like in mm-hmm. your 20s. It's gonna not just going to help with your self-confidence, but okay, it's like a, it's like a domino effect, okay? 
you're mm-hmm. gonna build up your confidence you're gonna look better you're gonna feel better because you look better and then because you look better it's just you know you feel better you look better and it just there are levels goes on top of each other there are levels yes yeah. yes you're just gonna get better in general okay you're gonna get better as a person and then like i said earlier like if you're positive you're giving this positive aura you're gonna attract the same thing you're gonna attract positivity so mm-hmm. if you're trying to be better you're gonna attract people who are also trying to be better mm-hmm. so that kind of like helps you too you, you kind of like help each other you kind of bounce off each other and motivate each other to build yourself up overall you're you're gonna be happier overall as a person yeah that's right like start with accepting who you are and then loving yourself and then it's just gonna as what sophie said gonna be a domino effect and you're gonna improve and okay what they said here is that you have to have self-compassion you gotta you gotta you know it's a bad word for the lack of better verbiage kind of pity yourself and like don't don't be too hard on yourself and just accept who you are just accept who you are if you're weird if you're nerdy if you're not nerdy if you're athletic or any any personality trait just accept it and if you think there's something bad i mean you have some bad traits learn to improve on it but at first mm-hmm. you just gotta accept first acceptance i guess that's the first yeah. key okay that's yeah, good. yeah yeah that's so you gotta good. improve on it without having to be so hard, hard on yourself, on yourself don't, yeah. don't like punish yourself or something yeah if you're if just you're focus young, on you focus on improving instead of being of blaming you know, yourself like blaming that oh yeah this is me i suck so much why why can't i be, make more friends why can't i yeah. get this job no yeah love yourself please don't man. make that a habit don't mm-hmm. make that a habit because it's it does more harm than good yeah yeah well put nice okay mm-hmm. uh number two is that is to learn to say no with confidence oh i learned this so i learned this when i was like in 22 23 like you don't you really you really should know when to say no different spelling k-n-o-w and like n-o you should really know how to say no because like you don't want to you don't want to accept things that would not really benefit you because even though it's kind of selfish and parlaying that with the first one you just gotta love yourself too like don't don't put yourself don't put yourself in a situation that would just you know make it hard for you why what's the point like stress you out yeah stress you out like here best example would be because you're young you're spry you have all this energy most of your friends (laughs) would be like hey hey man okay i'm friend a hey hey man you want to go out drinking you know meet some chicks you maybe smoke some illegal stuff and stuff like that i mean if you don't swing that way and your friend B, you're this guy now. I mean, mm-hmm. man, I know you like those stuff, but like I we're still friends, but I just got to say no to that. I mean, I don't really want to do that and like if you respect me, me feel better. Yeah, I'm not comfortable doing those stuff, those things and like I just want to stay at home right now and you know, relax, uh mm-hmm. watch a movie or something. And yeah, just say no. That don't don't get into peer pressure and like don't get peer pressured into doing something you don't want to do because it's not gonna help you out at all yeah especially if it doesn't make you feel good or it doesn't make you feel like yourself Mm -hmm. better to just say you know you gotta do your own thing you know even if it's being alone sometimes and here best uh i'm sorry i don't know if you're gonna take this advice but like um if you say no to things you're you're presented with that situation right you're presented with a hey you want to go out hey you want to do this hey you want to do this yeah. you kind of get tidbits and learn on what are the things you really want because like you you get that you get an immediate feeling right like let's say i tell you so hey so if you want to go to the mountains today and like you you have that you have a reaction already in your mind like i don't want to go to the mountains or like oh i really do want to go to the mountains right so you get to you get to know yourself more on what what comes first in your mind when someone, you know, presents you with options and stuff. And you say no to the things you don't want to do. And yeah. remember the things that you want to do. So, like, in the future, you could already pre-save that and, like, say, and, like, oh, yeah, I'm the type to 
do this but of course don't close your options but you're more of this type accept it love yourself and don't 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 feel like you're shitty because you're the friend that always has no the says no to your friend group maybe you need other friends mm. or mm -hmm. yeah maybe another context of you have any other examples of that no actually you captured it perfectly but it yeah like I, i think there was a time in my life where i was pretty addicted to getting to know myself because i realized how fucking beautiful it is to just know your you know what you don't want mm -hmm. so that makes it easier for you to know what you do want yeah, yeah. and basically it really helps with your decision making and it just makes you feel so much better you know yeah overall yeah and there's power to saying no there's huge power to saying no because it it actually makes you feel that you can stand alone which i'm saying that it, i'm not saying that it's a real good thing but like if you can stand alone you can you're self sufficient is what i'm saying you're self sufficient yeah. for your own happiness that speaks yeah, volumes because like yeah. especially in a relationship level like let's say you have a partner and you guys are kind of you're on the brink of breaking up you're not going to be the type to wallow over that shit for a long time because you know what you want you know where mm -hmm. what makes you happy and you know it speaks volumes that you can say no and like you're self-sufficient you, i know i know what i want i'm gonna be happy because i know what i want so just yeah, say yeah. no uh can i decide more examples because i think this is a really good point um yeah, of course with jobs well this just applies to me for now but like with jobs your boss would probably give you a lot of stuff to do and like you really got to go through your job description every every little thing that you could you could when when you're getting hired you have to really ask like hey what does my job entail am i supposed to do this just this and this and this and this if your boss tells you to go buy coffee and you're like a senior auditor or something like that is that your job no no you're not getting paid for that well if you if you're thinking that hey i, I should do this because like it's my boss i'm gonna get on his good side that just makes you look like a fool essentially because like why why are you letting yourself be stepped on even i know even if you're struggling or something like that but like have some confidence and self-esteem in yourself just to say no because like and do it respectfully respectfully say no don't say hey no it's just like hey i I don't think that's part of my job and i, I hope you understand like i just won't do that because you know it's it's yeah, not part yeah. of my job description you gotta be able to say no with confidence but also be respectful mm -hmm. yeah because there, there are times like if you say no and you're like eh, no like you're a little indecisive about it you're not really taking a stand with your no Um, people are gonna think that you can just be walked over and stuff. You're, they you're could a just pushover, change. essentially. Yeah, you're a pushover. That they could just change your mind and yeah, come on, you gotta come with us. Like, what? and you're just gonna say yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, you're you're. That's gonna really fuck you up in the future. Well, this is what the article mm -hmm. is saying. Like, you're gonna be much more happier in your 40s and 30s when you've said no to all these things that you really didn't want to do. Because time is yeah. gold. Time is gold. Literally listen to yourself. Literally. Yeah. Because like, if you're wasting time right now, you're just, that's what all, everyone says. You're wasting time right now, you're just going to regret it all in the future. And I know even at any age, you've, you can look back and just remember those times that you did something that you didn't, re didn't really want to do. And that's just uh, time wasted. Yeah, you feel so bad. Feel bad. Okay. We expounded so much on that point. It's so good. I like it. I like it. I like it. I love it. If if uh I think I think we're gonna cut this maybe in half, and maybe do a part two next time because like I don't I don't oh, think yeah. we're gonna have a lot of time to really yeah dissect this whole article. But it's good that we have a part two. It's gonna be good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Number three is take more risks. Don't talk yourself out of doing things you want to do. Don't let fear win. If you want to vacation in Europe, do it. If you want to talk to that hot girl or guy at the bar, do it. Oh, I have a best example. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, right. yeah. Uh, it's it's basically saying that that 
you're gonna regret not doing the things you want especially it's just a contrast of what we talked about earlier say no to the things you don't want but say yes to the things you might want or say yes to everything that's new that you don't really have uh, an initial reaction to yet like let's say here um sophie would come to me and tell me hey want to go to this place and have and i haven't been there why would you just blatantly say no when you don't really have anything to do try it you might like it it's kind of like that take the risk even yeah. if it's not a big risk or a super uh life-changing risk you might get to know yourself more and like yeah basically mm-hmm. what have you said before and yes yeah anything you want to add so <laughs> um oh yeah i'd also mentioned here that don't let fear win there are so many people that i know that they really regret not taking or not participating in something because they were scared and then when they look back they're like what was i so scared about like literally the worst that could happen is is like people are make fun of you bad. Yeah, something like, like that. It's not even that bad, and they feel so bad about it. Like, they, I wish I could have done it. Like, yeah. Do you have a lot of? Because, do you have a lot of those moments or not yet? I Are you a risk taker? Yeah, but of course, even if you are a risk taker, there are moments, Lydia, that you also wish you could have chosen a different position. Yeah. Well, that's how it is. Like. Remember what we talked about with the last podcast? Like, life should be with a pause button and stuff, and yeah. the rewind button. No, life yeah. should life should be unexpected to make it fun, you know. So take mm-hmm. take the risk, and like, you you'll find out what if it's bad or not. But like, you you should have common sense too. By the way, don't don't be stupid <laughs> and like, hey, Tristam and Sophie told us to take the risk. Well, if it's illegal and if it's stupid and if you're, it's dangerous enough to really kill you and stuff like that, don't do that. So maybe obvious. it's it's obviously yeah, yeah. it's obviously bad. Then don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here is also like one example I just thought about. Like, especially for those people who are thinking of getting into relationships, there are, there are people that I know who are like really scared because they've gone through stuff. And honestly, that's like a like a one-on-one thing there's no right answer to that like you really gotta assess yourself like you're scared because what the you think you can't handle it if you genuinely think you can't handle it it's okay take a step back buddy it's all right just Mm -hmm. give yourself some time but if you're scared because you think that oh maybe the other person won't like me um stuff like that uh you i think it's better if you take a risk you could just confess or yeah, take shoot your shot, because... basically. So what you're saying, shoot your shoot shot. Shoot your shot, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's if it's it basically a hit or out... miss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. If it doesn't work out, it's alright. You know, pat yourself in the back. You did your best. I mean, you you did your part. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. If it does work out, then hooray for you. Yeah. Okay. Here, you, I have I want... have I have an example yeah. of that. By the way, sorry to cut you off. Sorry, sorry. I'm no, sorry. no. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> Recently, I got to, uh, okay, let me just um, tone this down. Um, I went to get together with friends, and there were new people, okay? You know what it is, though, so I know you know what it is, but, like, <laughs> I'm just toning it down, okay? Yeah. So, get together with friends, met new people, and there was the this lady that was sitting together with another lady on in another table, and I was, and one of my friends told me, "Hey, those two could be potential, you know, table mates, because like we were having fun already, and like, you know, you seeing them, they're kind of lonely, and like we could integrate their table and get to know them, and like we could, uh, you know, meet people and mix and match and everything like that. So, <laughs> basically, I I was the representative, because <laughs> like." <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm the one who's really hyped that time or something like that. And, like, one of my friends pushed me to, hey, you go and, like, ask them to join us and stuff like that. And I'm not really, the, I'm, I want to be the type to do that. I've always dreamt about being the type to just walk up to a lady and, like, hey, hey, uh, <laughs> meet, you know, I'm Tris, you know, what's up? <laughs> and, like, yeah, yeah. so it was a bit difficult and for me but like 
I was like, yeah, fuck it, let's go. I I haven't tried that before. I guess it's it's much more when I meet girls, it's already there's already a connection. Like he's she's the friend of this friend. And like even if mm-hmm. it's like we we've not we haven't known each other for a while, but at least I know of you, right? Like yeah. semi acquaintances stuff like that. But like this is totally new. Like really walking up to a girl, which is by the way, guys, everyone from Bacal can attest to this, and. If you could leave a comment, if this is true, like, is it? Isn't it so weird to just walk up to another person here in Bacolod and like ask for their name and like, like who? Are, hey, my name is this, and like, can I ask for your number? So it's not the same as with like Manila or like America or something like that. Because mm, Bacolod yeah. is such a small city, right? Like, you, you, it's it's literally a hit or miss. If you make a bad impression with that person, you're just like, okay, this person is so weird. He just walked up to me and like. She's gonna tell all yeah. her friends, and like eventually, everyone's gonna know that you just missed with that person and stuff like that. <laughs> so like, so that's mm-hmm. that's how it is. So but but fuck it, I went there and like, I <laughs> I I said the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> what? I was like, hey miss, I kind of noticed that you you guys are both alone here. Uh, would you mind joining our table? We could have much more fun there. I just said that. I don't mm-hmm. know if that's weird and like. And out, so out of context, but like I'd said that, and I was shut down, shut the fuck down. It was so. <laughs> but but here, here's the takeaway. She shut me down. She told me like, now nah, we're good, we're fine here. It's okay. You can go back to your table. And I was like, all right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, it's fine, you know. You took the risk. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I shot my shot, you know. So. That's a good example right there. Yeah. I went to my table and like I told my friends like, hey, hey, um, they didn't want to. <laughs> and they told me they <laughs> they like actually that. patted me on the back and say, Well, you shot your shot. That's really good. And I'm like, Yeah, I did, yeah. right? Like yeah. I took the risk. It didn't really work out, but what 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 really happened to me? Like, did I lose a you know, a kidney or something? No. Yeah, <laughs> nothing. I'm fine. You're totally fine. You're totally fine. Like what what if that was but here here's a better takeaway my girl friend a friend with a girl went there and mm-hmm. asked them and she got them to come to our table because they didn't really swing my way if you know what i mean <laughs> all right okay so that kind of look in their part they're doing the the things we talked about like say no with confidence yeah because they don't swing that way with you but yeah. like, when the girl came they're they're a little they, you know, they're they got, okay with it. it. It it got easier for them. That's what they're saying. Yeah. And then at the end yeah, of the then... night, we all got together and we were we were friends. They actually added me on my socials. <laughs> so hey, that's great. Yeah, and like so you know, back to taking a chance. Just take the risk. Like nothing's really gonna happen to you. And some people okay. would even be proud of you for trying, right? Like. Yeah, yeah. Especially, especially, it's nice to hear from your loved ones, like your friends, your close friends, your family, like saying, saying that, like, hmm. I mean, you shot your shot, you took the risk, you're good. We're proud of you. I mean, yeah, it's it better really than not knowing. Good. It's really better than not knowing, like, regretting it in the future. Regret is really heavy. It's a really heavy feeling. So it's much better to take a shot. Yeah. Okay. We expanded that on that too. That's so good. We're so this is nice. I I actually really like this. I think it's because we really relate to the points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it, at, at some it, point in our in our life, we're, yeah, it's really tailor point, made for twenty you, people's in people in their twenties, right? Yeah, I feel like at some point in our life right now, we've already gone through that, and we're just re- reliving the whole point. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's good. It's good. It's productive. I hope everyone at home or like everyone listening would comment down below their experiences and like maybe some piece of advice they could like tell the viewers like yeah so we could actually if there are a lot of comments we're going to share this on our next podcast like your pieces of advice or experiences of course we're going to leave it anonymous mm-hmm. for your yeah. s- safety oh, speaking <laughs> of speaking of getting approached that I also tried that like me and my friends were the one that got approached by these people that we have no idea Ooh, pretty. we literally don't know <laughs> Yeah, it's in the too. It yeah, yeah, so yeah. Far. Yeah. <laughs> and then we were like so young, pa. We were like 18. We were like 18, and they were like, 
I don't know. They look like they were 24. But we did the whole thing, the saying no with confidence. We, we, we did say no. But yeah. then, you know, you know how it is when you're teenagers, you, came up, you come up with stupid ideas. So we said no, but then we came up to them and they were like, you know what, we're going to give it. And we gave them random numbers. <laughs> and we gave them different names. And it was just, we were just having fun. And they actually believed us. And then we left. Yeah. And yeah. Well, to your point, actually what you're saying is like it's you're you were thinking about your safety as young younger people yeah you know yeah yeah. and what you did was right like most people would do that like give out fake names or fake numbers but yeah Mm -hmm. it's good i mean i do that too not gonna lie i know a lot of people do that so we can definitely relate to what Mm -hmm. you just did and if you had fun doing it like yeah you're still winning you did you still you're still winning yeah okay uh, the next one is pull the trigger, but I I think that's just kind of the same thing with, you know, the other ones. So I won't really hmm. like. Um, yeah, it does. Yeah, same context, right? Yeah, fear of failure. Yeah, it's like the same. <laughs> okay, here it. This next one is like actually, uh, it actually parlays to my previous point where you be respectful when you talk to everyone and you're going to gain respect as well. Learn to negotiate with politeness. I'm just going to read this so people have more context. Learning to negotiate early in your career is a pretty big deal. As business insiders Tanza Ludenbach and Sky Gold reported, negotiating your starting salary, so this really applies to people my age, and continuing to negotiate every few years or when you start a new job could make a $1 million difference in your lifetime earnings. So they're saying um, you just really, you can't just really accept what's being offered when you think it's downplaying what your skills could offer, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, it does. You're, you have this, let's say you got experience already in working, like three years experience in marketing, let's say. And then you go into this, you dive into this new job, you're like, you're going to be the um, advertising director of a medium-sized company. And what? And in a Bacolod context, they're probably going to offer you like, what, 18000 a month? Mm. You mm. got you to gotta really, really weigh your job description with that. If you're head of people, you're head of a group of people, you have subunits already, and like, um, people are, are going to come to you for really big decisions 18,000 is probably not enough and what they're saying here is like you have to negotiate with politeness don't come off as aggressive don't be that guy hey uh, I don't think this is a this is the right salary for me and I'll just leave try try a more gentle approach right Soph? yeah yeah I just remembered this one time that I had a low grade the during my in class this mm-hmm. one subject and I generally think I did not deserve that low of a grade but I came off a little too aggressive to my teacher yeah, yeah. and we ended up kind of fighting through chat and then I had to like go to him personally in school and when we met he was like oh you're the one who fights me in chat like why why do you students have to be so aggressive and I felt a little embarrassed I was like yeah you're right I was a little I was a little too much, was I? Yeah. And I just started talking to him like, um, politely, and he understands why I I I think that way that my I don't deserve the grade. So we got to talk about it and we got to resolve it. You know. There's always be a, polite. There's always a better way rather than being aggressive and abrasive. Actually, um, if you don't know what abrasive means, like not you, Sophie, like everyone listening. Mm, it's uh, a best example would be you see those sponges with like the back side that's kind of rough yeah that's the abrasive side if you watch spongebob that's where i learned that so (laughs) that's the really real life sponges yeah real life sponges by the way with the one you use to wash dishes there's this abrasive side which you use to really get off those uh hard yeah yeah yeah. so that's that's being abrasive don't don't really you don't really have to use that side to get what you want you could use the softer side and be polite people respond to kindness and like 
if you if you come off really violent, you're just gonna and I'm not and I, I'm akin to being aggressive. So this is what I'm learning too as a person. It, mm. <laughs> I've told you a lot of stories, so and like sometimes it goes well when you're being aggressive, but sometimes it really doesn't. It just makes you fight. It's not worth it, and like you just gotta learn to to make the good decision and be polite. It really helps. Yeah. It really does. Really does. Okay. Here's a good one. Can you read the next one, Soph? I, I wish you would read the next one. This is going to hit hard. Mm. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. That hits hard. Yeah. Yeah. Forgive yourself. Kicking yourself over past failures won't change what happened. It will just leave you sore from being kicked so much. Give up all hope for a better past. Own who you have been own who you have been so it doesn't own you so it's coming back to self-love and compassion for yourself like i, I actually really like the last line own who you own who you have been so it doesn't own you it yeah. really i have been trying to tell my friends like that that i have never been able to put it into words and the, the, that's the perfect sentence to put it yeah yeah they should listen to the podcast then because like <laughs> hey friends I'm really hoping that y'all listen to the podcast y'all gotta listen to this shit yeah yeah because I've been telling them I've, I remember telling some of them like they asked me how do you do self love how do you do the whole accepting yourself thing like what if you don't like who you are how do you accept that and then I would just tell them that you need to acknowledge your you need to acknowledge your the things that you did, you know, the mistakes that you did, that mm. they're not good. Okay, I'm not saying they're good, but you need to acknowledge that they're bad. But you need you don't have to punish yourself over it. So they're they're confused now. One of them even said that okay, so I need to acknowledge the bad thing that I did, but I need to love that. And I said no, not exactly. Like, but you need to try and change it. Is and then he said, how can you change it if you're not being like hard on yourself about it? So what he's trying to say is, how can you change something that you don't like if you're not being hard on yourself on it about it? Mm-hmm. And I find it really hard to explain to him that you just need to accept, like, accepting something and leaving it be is different. Mm-hmm. You can accept something and still be able to change it, not in an aggressive way, but leaving it be. That's just you're accepting it, but you're like not doing anything about it. Mm-hmm. that's different so yeah I feel like that friend really has a long way to go with the self acceptance yeah yeah what, what I got what I got from your say, what, what you're saying is like that friend actually is he, he wants to accept the thing but like yeah you, you gotta you know do something about it cause like if you don't do something about your character not the thing cause that already happened your character towards it it's just gonna weigh you down like it's just gonna be a heavy burden on you like imagine here here's the here's the best thing you you did something wrong uh towards okay here's a kind example towards your parents let's say okay and like mm-hmm. uh you did something wrong and uh, they lost like let's say a, a ton of money you know they lost yeah. a ton of money because you did something wrong and like they're mad at you but of course they're your parents they're still gonna love you they're still gonna support you and stuff like that but you yeah. feel like a piece of shit right like oh my god i'm like nothing's never gonna ever gonna go my way because like i did this big thing that made my parents like so mad at me so no what you got to do is like accept it okay i did this thing and change what like, change take your accountability take take accountability be responsible yes i did this i'm sorry please forgive me i'm going to make it up to you guys and let it go cuz if that's going to weigh you down your whole fucking life where are you going to what's going to happen to you are you just going to be known as that kid who just fucking destroyed her uh, the her, his or her parents lives Probably or something like that and, yeah, but, yeah. Or are you going to be that guy who's known for something else because you did something? You know? You did something about it. You did something yeah. about it. And you did something good because you didn't let, let that weigh you down. But if you, after that, you 
accepted it, let it go, and you went into law school and you became a lawyer. So wh which is going to be your title? The, the kid that, you know, got their parents in trouble and stuff like that? Or the kid who's a lawyer now, who studied hard, who's the magna cum laude or something like that? The, yeah. the bigger the achievement you get because you let that go is what you're going to be known for rather than that that's mistake. True. That's that mistake that's already happened that you can't even, even take back anymore. What yeah, you can oh, do is very still, well said, man. Yeah, yeah. You have this timeline. This is the past. This is the future. You're here, present. Wh where do you think you can do what, what, which part of this timeline you can do something about, right? This part. Yeah, the future. The yeah. future. So, enough of this. You can't do anything about this. Let it go. Do, some, do something about that and, like, let it go. You're right. You're really right, so what you said a while ago. Yeah. If you're having a really hard time letting go of something that already happened, just give yourself some time to process it. Like, mm -hmm. really actually process it. Don't just, don't just like, try to ignore it or, or try to suppress it. Having, having some, it's good to have some distractions, but yeah. not the, all the time. That's not, a, that's not a solution. It's just a temporary thing. Yeah. You really need to process it internally, and mm -hmm. then you'll be able to let it go eventually. And if you find yourself not being able to do it yourself, it's never bad to ask people for help, you know? Yeah. People who yeah. are wiser, much more stable, talk yeah, to them. All you need sometimes is just to have someone to talk to. Yeah, that's really good. Good points. Okay. Here, here's a really good one. I'm going to read this. Don't compare yourself to others. Ah, oh, really good. Don't compare yourself to others, writes Redditor, uh, this is a bad name, I'm History Geek 1, in the social media, <laughs> you see that shit? <laughs> in the social media age, it is tempting to beat yourself up if your friends are getting married, having kids, and living a life of luxury. Of course, this is tailor-made for people in their 20s, and this is really happening. Mm -hmm. We each live our own lives. The only thing you're going to do is hurt yourself. And that's really very good you're gonna say something so yeah i can i can personally feel that also and i've also heard my batchmates talk about that how it's just crazy some of our batchmates are already getting married and some of them are having their own family mm -hmm. some of them are still like living with their parents still like dependent on their parents which mm -hmm. is also fine but it's just crazy you know how all these big things are happening and some some people are just, you know, there. They, they haven't done any big stuff yet. They haven't yeah. done the big steps yet. And you don't have to punish yourself for that. You know, we're not a race. Um, this is we're having different lives, so you don't have to compare your own life to others. Yeah, you're right. I agree. And coming back to the main character syndrome thing, I I mean, just parlaying with that. Um. Mm -hmm. main you're the main character of your own life everything else they're they're not you you have this own lane that you got to walk through if you if people are are whispering in your ear hey you're not doing anything yet what the fuck are you doing like brush that mm -hmm. off are they the one feeding you are they the one taking care of you are they the one making the decisions for you if you're not ready to do something then that's fine the power to say no right so yes, yes. Uh, say no with confidence say no with confidence if you're not ready for that that's fine because like if you're gonna do something and it makes you feel super uncomfortable that you just wanna you know blame yourself and stuff like that then that's not really taking the risk what we talked about a while ago you're not taking the risk you're just putting yourself in a situation that you don't want to be like really yeah. really not want to be really making you uncomfortable anxiety everything like yeah just just walk in your own path take it slow if you need to but again grab every every opportunity you can get so you could at least you know build up your confidence and self-esteem and you could gladly tell other people too hey if you're doing this i'm doing this too i'm doing my own thing i'm with with what with applying it to us Hey guys, you're getting married. Tristan is doing a podcast. Sophie's doing a podcast. She's studying. All you guys are going on trips and stuff. I'm I'm writing reports and stuff like that. It's it doesn't yeah, yeah, really yeah. matter. It, yeah, you're your own we're all doing our own thing and stuff. Is this all boils down to loving yourself and yeah, but because like 
if you love yourself, you wouldn't really matter what the heck they're all doing as long as you're loving yourself, you're loving what you're doing. Yeah. You're gonna have a great time. Man. Very well said. Don't compare yourself to others. I'm gonna tweet that later. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. And when you mentioned earlier about the main character, you're your own main character. Some people are going to be like, oh, but my life is so uninteresting. There's not much events going on. That's not a main character. Like, dude, that's not what a main character is supposed to be. Yeah. Have you ever have you ever seen shows where the main character is just having a simple life and all? Like, the, like, like, like cartoon characters, let's say the cartoon characters, um, like SpongeBob and stuff, mm-hmm. they don't really have, like, super, like, crazy. Sometimes they have episodes where they just literally just hang out and yeah. have fun, right? Yeah. And they're still the main character. Like, doesn't mean that mm-hmm. main characters, they have, like, really... Really super... Lives. Yeah, and, wild. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, no. It's it's just about how you look at your narration of your life. Yeah. you got to romanticize your life, man. Yeah. And there are other people who are content. Really content. Like, as long as mm-hmm. they're happy... You know, there are some people who are ambitious and some people who are not. And you got to respect both sides. There are people who don't really like going for the money, going for the riches, going for the luxury, don't really like to travel. That's fine too. If you're content and happy, genuinely happy, you don't need to do something about that when you're genuinely happy. Like you feel like you don't really have the urge to jump off a cliff somewhere to go cliff diving or like bungee jumping. That's fine too. You're living your own life. You don't need to yeah. really do these stupid things or wild things or crazy things to fulfill yourself if you're already if you're already fulfilled doing what you're doing right now. You know? Exactly. I'm, I'm getting yeah, really yeah, crazy yeah. about this. You know? I'm spitting <laughs> facts and shit. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, um, uh, can true, I cite actually. one more example though? Here. Yeah, what is it? Um, people like Gary V, people like Elon Musk, people like Bill Gates they're not even in their 20s when they really became successful and big and like they're they become big names now right and like they didn't really have they didn't really figure it out before like it's not it's not about it's not about doing it right now it's not how long it takes it's gonna happen someday just you guys just gotta trust your gut and like just really know what makes you happy and passionate and like as long as you're eating the right amount of food each day, you're sleeping well, you have a roof over your head, you're fine, man. You're not. Yeah. You're fine. Yeah. <laughs> you're fine. You just, fine. Just, just keep doing you. And something's definitely going to happen if you want it to, especially if you do want it to happen. But if you don't, yeah, yeah still fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we were given the will to live, right? We are given the will to do whatever we want. So... You don't really have There's to compare yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's another one. Uh, the next one is maybe we should just like have the last two. Okay, last okay. two. Don't be afraid to change directions. Um, mm. they they're saying here. Yeah, you went to high school, then maybe did some college, tech school training or whatever, and thought that it was your direction. But if you finally get a job and you're not happy work to change that immediately spending your entire work week being unhappy oh, just because it pays the bills will not make <laughs> you happy oh man i can really relate man <laughs> <laughs> hey <laughs> do you want to hop in on this or i got a lot of things to say but like before i say mm. all those things i want to hear your side <laughs> yeah. yeah okay so don't be afraid to change the direction. Especially Maybe. for those especially for those young ones who've had this stagnant life. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's really hard sometimes to be able to try and change direction because you you have so much like you already have the schedule. Um it's what do you call scary. That? a routine. Yeah. You have like it... a schedule, a routine already in your whole life and you've kind of did it almost your whole life and how the heck do you change direction all of a sudden? Sometimes there'll be people also, they'll be they'll be asking you like, oh, why are you suddenly like this? Why are you suddenly choosing to do these things? And then it kind of makes you doubt yourself. Like, oh, you know what? You're right. Why am I doing this? Like, can I even, can I even do this? Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, Thoughts yeah. Thoughts like those. 
kind of hard sometimes if, if that's your situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. But um, if you're not if you're not happy, you do need to change. Yeah. Again, we're we're always gonna go back to finding what makes you happy. It's not. I mean, there. I've I've seen people who are really. You know, they they disdain their lives like they really hate it. And I do understand why. There are certain events that would make you think so. I know you understand so. Like there are so many different things that would happen in your life that would make you lose hope or make you give up or like this life ain't worth yeah. living anymore. You know that kind yeah. of stuff. And like it yeah. it really is understandable. But like you still have time. You still have time. I mean, which where would you rather be? in a dark place or somewhere you know bright and shiny where i know that's very very hard to just say and like very hard to act on but then it's i i I probably think it's still the better choice right like it is i mean it's so difficult because people would just say like i'm just gonna kill myself or i'm just gonna die right here or something like that and like Mm -hmm. just 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 waste away this life because it's not even worth living i know it's hard I know it's difficult. I know it's you're at the bottom you're at the bottom most part of your life, but when you're at that point, you kind of realize where I have nothing to lose then. Maybe the only way to go is up, right? Yeah, you have nothing to lose. Why don't you like do something alone? There are a lot of people who go through this and like have changed their ways like like got out of their comfort zone to change directions in their life to make it better instead of just sticking to this one spot where they're unhappy sad grieving lonely sometimes they're sometimes they're yeah dude like lonely sometimes they're even people who they have no idea if what they're about to do will be something good will give something good in their life or not yeah. like they literally just do it because they literally have nothing else to lose they have nothing else to do you know, so but sometimes when they do take the next step, they get surprised that oh, this was actually one of the best decisions I've had in my life, or it actually helped them, even if it did not. Yeah. Um, it kind it would give you some sort of perspective that at least I got to do this, and it kind of gives you this little hope to do the next thing. It kind of makes you stronger. Is that what you're saying? Like, if if yeah, if it doesn't work out. You you got another bullet on your chest and you're ready to go. Like, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I've been hurt like this now. I've been hurt like, like this again. What? Anything else? You still got yeah. any more? You know, you, go, yeah, you get yeah, stronger. Exactly. You get braver. You get bad term, but numb in a way that would really protect you from all these bad things, these negativities in your life and emotions, stuff like that. And of course, guys, if there's ever a helping hand, this guy trying to reach yeah. out to you and pull you out of that pit of darkness and take it take it yeah. you have nothing to lose okay i know this kind of went dark but like yeah i have nothing to lose it, it, it's true it really happens to men yeah 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 so my point is like uh in terms of this don't be afraid to change directions like here best example i know everyone could relate to this everyone working especially um i was 19 right when i graduated and um, when I was in college, honestly, uh, shout out to my mom and dad. They let me pick whatever the course I want. But like I had this, nice. I idolized them enough. I idolized my mom enough to pick a course that is the same with her, like accountancy, accounting tech, something like that. Finance, basically. And although I do love it and it wasn't that difficult for me because um, I bet I think I'm fairly I'm fairly adept in just like academics and stuff like that. But like I didn't really know what I wanted, right? Like, um, yeah, yeah. You just kind of realize that in your twenties. Not gonna lie, like when you're in college, you just pick what your parents want you to pick, and like maybe this will work, and you know, it'll work out. Something I'm just gonna get a meager job after this, like doing something that yeah. I really didn't want to do. So I picked accountancy, which is fine for the most part. Fine. I really I knew that I was creative and stuff, but like maybe this is the more practical choice, like thinking about numbers and like really knowing how money works and stuff like that, which is really good actually. I I really learned a lot and it really helps me out in my real life now. But then, what I really wanted to do 
was this, basically. Podcasting, multimedia, social media, marketing. I just realized that when I graduated already and I experienced these different things in the world, like taking videos, mm -hmm. um, doing covers, music, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. That's Thank the you. direction wh which I really want because like, it's much more fun for me. This is so fun for me. And even though it's hard work, right? I've been telling you this, like scheduling, yeah. organizing, calendar, stuff like that, but it still makes me feel good. It it hits different than like the yeah. the work that I'm really doing just to pay the bills, right? And makes you feel alive. Makes me feel alive. And by the way, guys, it's not even a bad thing to to get a job just to pay the bills because you really got to pay the bills. You can't really avoid that. But like mm -hmm. while doing that, while doing that, Try to find, try to expose yourself and find your passions. Don't don't be lazy. Don't be just, don't be that guy that comes home. Oh my God, I'm so tired from work, and I'm gonna go to work again tomorrow. Maybe I should just sleep and like do the usual: eat dinner, watch TV, sleep. What? What the fuck? What are you doing? Are you, and <laughs> you're you're gonna wake up in your thirty, right? You're gonna wake up like time. Oh my, time flies. Time flies so fast. Just being in that same routine, and. Here, you can do that. You can do both, even if it's just a little bit, right? This is just a little bit of my time right now. I have the whole day to work. I just recently actually discovered voice acting. I I never imagined mm -hmm. that I would be some kind of voice actor. And like people have been telling me since I was in college, hey, hey why are you in accountancy? Or like, why are you doing this number thing when you can sing or like you have that voice or like you can... I loved performing when I was like in college and like all that all that stuff which mm. kind of made me super scared, right? I was super scared. I was like, man, am I really doing this <laughs> doing the right thing being here in a which was still fine <laughs> and like it's going to help me in business in the future and really it, it's really going to help me but like don't be afraid in your 20s, right? Don't be afraid yeah. to leap out of that like I'm actually supposed to be doing financial work right now, but I'm a virtual assistant working for an Australian company doing real estate. It's different. It's not the same, but it works. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm not that guy who's really tired of life. Like, oh my God, I hate my yeah. job. I mean, it's not really that fun, but still, it's not that bad, you know? Yeah. Which most more important is that you actually feel good about it. Feel yeah. good about what you're doing. You're not exhausting yourself doing the things you don't like, you know. You're mm -hmm. not. It's it's just gonna make you go go to that other place, you know, the dark side where oh my life mm -hmm. is such a mess. My life is so depressing and like yeah. I swear, guys, it's really not worth it. That if you think that you need to get a job that's really that's financially good, but you're not actually enjoying it. If you think you can just power your way through it well maybe you can for i don't know two three months but you'll be so exhausted i have friends i have friends actually who really who's doing what we're talking about right now i have this friend who really earns a lot of course i'm not going to specify but like she really mm -hmm. earns a lot but like it's draining the fuck out of her like yeah. like really like work on the weekends and stuff like that and like but the the mm -hmm. pay is so good not gonna lie but then she, she 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 just said she she's resigning right now and like I'm proud of her. I'm really happy for her. Like she's taking a big step That's good in her life. She's she's doing something for herself. That's actually really good, yeah. Yeah. Imagine like imagine doing that every day and like, yeah, you're earning a lot, but like what's the point of money when you're you know, but best bottom line is work life balance. Is that what is what I could say? Like work, oh, yeah, definitely. work life balance and try as much as you can in your 20s and this is what I'm doing right now and I can update you through this podcast with everything I'm doing in my 20s because like <laughs> I'm really trying to find my passion guys and this is one I, I actually really like this just talking and like explaining things I love it. this I've been want okay not gonna lie I've been wanting to have my podcast for very very long time now because i know that i have so much to talk about i have so much to yeah. say but wasn't able to take action because of it because of like i was doubting myself and stuff like that and i always say like oh i'm so i'm so busy i might not be able to 
guys, I'm still busy. I really am. But I was <laughs> unable to make time for the podcast. Cause yeah. You got to just make a conscious effort. She really does make time for the podcast, guys. And I'm really thankful for that, actually. Because initially, this was my idea, and I pitched it to her, and we just met. How cra- You know how crazy that is? Like, <laughs> Literally. You know, right, right? Literally just met. The first day we met, I just said, hey, maybe you should just start a podcast. I'm trying, because I was already trying to. I was already trying to. And like, yeah. and yeah, she said yes, and here we are. Hope you guys stay with us for a long, 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 long time. <laughs> yes. It actually happened. It actually happened. And we're not losing anything. We took the risk. I don't really care what people say. If I'm happy doing this and she's happy doing this, nothing mm-hmm. really matters. Really enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, okay, let's do two more. I think we have time for two more. All right. Okay. Here's the next one. Can you read it so, please? Okay. By the way, guys, I think mm. this is more akin to me right now in the working life. But, like, it's good that Sophie is giving us a, a lot more perspective, too. Yeah. All right. So, the next one is don't rack up debt. Yeah. I regret not saving more money. And more importantly, I regret racking up debt. That nearly killed me in my 30s. Some of it was necessary, of course, but a lot was credit card overkill. Wow, that sounds really bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, Dang. I mean, I have parents that really tell me this, so I can really say that they're right. I mean, my parents, I'm not sure, though, because like, I really don't know the details of their life lives when they were tw- in their 20s, but they've always told me that... Um, they were never really at the point where they felt like they were really poor when they were married of course it's different when they were younger and like all that stuff but like they never really felt like they were poor and they were handling and they were really handling their money well especially when i came around like with school and stuff they did have to take out loans of course to pay for me but then i i've never really felt i could really attest to this because i'm the kid you 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 never it's a good thing that your parents never make you feel poor right yeah, i I've, yeah. I've i've never really felt like i was underfed or like uh i was i always already i already had everything i needed to basically what i need to survive and like just go on with school i never really my parents never really made me feel like i was i i had to hey maybe you shouldn't eat today cuz like <laughs> We don't have money yeah, for yeah. food. <laughs> so, like, that is a big testament to what they did when they were in their 20s, when they had, before they had me. It, if you have debt when and you have a kid in your 30s, imagine that. Imagine having to, to work towards, like, paying off your debt and raising a kid and, and paying off your house and stuff like that. I mean, I'm starting to... I'm starting to accumulate some loans too, but I, I can definitely say that I could really pay for them because like they are important, like what they said here. But mm-hmm. you don't you don't really have to buy unnecessary things that would increase your debt in yeah. life. Like why would right. you buy that car when you don't really need it, right? Something like that. Because like if you're buying a house, let's say, like what I am doing right now, it's it's for your future, right? You're 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 usually given the choice if you're in your 20s like me should i buy a house or should i buy a car i yeah. i would suggest guys buy a house buy a house you don't need that car yet if especially if you do have a car already that was just passed on to you if it still good works enough. make it work it's good enough you don't really need that it's... super nice v- vias or anything whatever that car is to impress <laughs> girls or like your friends what yeah. no yeah buy what you need spend a little for your happiness too of course don't neglect that but don't make big purchases that you really don't think you could pay off easily Mm. and if it's not going to benefit you cars are very 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 the the, it's called in finance finance depreciating assets they're called depreciating assets in five years six years your car's not going to (laughs) be can't be sold at a good price anymore because it's been used already so why why buy it it's a luxury 
it's a necessity and a luxury. Don't buy that super expensive car. Buy that car that's going to take you from point A to point B, not getting you get soaked, and you're fine. You're really fine. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I've, actually, I've actually heard before about how the value of your car, the moment it even steps out oh, yeah. of the place where it was bought, yeah. it's already minus 10K. Yeah, like, you're right. Literally. Literally. That's how fast. So that's why, like, spend your money wisely. Don't rack up credit card debt. Don't rack up debt in general. Don't ask your friends for money that you don't need. And it's gonna yes. part. It's gonna relate to this next point. Don't burn your bridges. <laughs> don't mm. burn your bridges. Don't burn your bridges. Personal work, whatever. There will be times when you will need to be amiable. You need to be amiable. That means like you have to put on a show. You know, you have to have that good personality that people would like and like people would want to hang out with you. That's what being amiable mm-hmm. means with people from the past for various reasons. And the last thing you need is someone saying, fuck that guy because of something petty or stupid that you could have easily been, that could have easily been, avo- been avoided. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't burn your bridges. Yeah. Networking and building personal relations is a big part or it's a big step in, um, your success in the future uh a good example would be lie. okay go not gonna lie this would be a really good lesson for me because i i used to burn bridges like very easily mm-hmm. but then when i learned i learned that that's not actually a good idea yeah um especially like when you realize that you, you end up with not that many people in the end and then you you, you realize that you actually you actually are gonna have a hard time you know yeah um it actually relates to me a lot but here before before me saying the good side about this i'm gonna say the bad side first or maybe the more relatable side um here if you're in your 20s and you have these people who are toxic or not really benefiting your life i those are the bridges that you really should burn like the negative people that even though whatever status they have whatever benefit they give you that's not helping your mental health at all or helping you grow or it's just they're just insulting you and like not really acknowledging your love for yourself as well it's okay yeah, to cut those people growth. yeah your personal growth you could actually just cut them off it's fine i mean it's not really relating to this what this article is saying is that don't you don't have to be a dick to everyone, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, if you're, if that's your energy, like you're, you're the, I don't really give a fuck about people. Like, what, what mm-hmm. the fuck? Get out of my way. I don't need you in my life. I mean, no. It wouldn't hurt to. It wouldn't hurt to be just a little friendly and like make people feel. Even if you're not gonna be close friends, here's the best way to really sink this in. Here. Imagine that you have a friend that works in a bank, right? But you're not really good friends. You're just acquaintances or you know something, you know of each other. And like you've talked once or twice. And in those talks, you were a good person, right? You you were amiable. You were so such a good conversation. To You had a good conversation like here. Now you're in that bank. You're going to deposit money. The line is long. You see your friend who works in that bank. And like mm-hmm. he sees you or she sees you. What do you think is going to happen? Isn't it going to be courtesy for a friend or like an acquaintance to say, hey, maybe just give your deposit to me and I'll just work it on for you. You don't need to go yeah. in that line and stuff. That's a benefit yeah, yeah. you get from having personal relations. This is what my mom taught me since when I was like a younger. You don't need to be a dick to everyone. You, you, I mean, like another thing would be government stuff like, the cards you need to have, government IDs. If you have a friend working there, call them up. You didn't burn your relations with them? Call them up. Hey, maybe you could really help me out and do me a favor by, you know, yeah, giving they're... me a number already or something like that. It's going to help you out. I swear to God. I swear to yeah. God you're not going to have a hard time anymore if you have a lot of acquaintances and not even close friends. Keep your circle small, but like be nice to everyone else that could really help you out. And not. It, I'm not saying be plastic. Just, yeah, just don't be a dick. Just don't be a dick. It's that, it's that easy. Be, be kind, be a gentleman, whatever you need to be, just to make people 
like you or semi like you it's really gonna help mm. you out I've, I've i've i could really attest i've done this a million times i have some acquaintances that really help me out shout out to you guys and i will never burn my bridges with you because like <laughs> man you really made my life easier <laughs> yeah. and another thing sorry so i need to really expound on this when you start yes, a business and you start a freaking business when you're in your 20s you're gonna need the all the help you're gonna you need you're gonna need all the help you can get if you burn bridges that's on you no one's gonna count come to your cafe or tattoo shop or whatever you're gonna make mm-hmm. because you've been a dick to everyone you know yeah. <laughs> have people Very like friendly. you be friendly yeah. people are gonna oh have you been in this situation so where you just know of someone that owns this business like like you're not mm-hmm. close you just know him and like she he or she kind of knows you and like when you see each other you could just say hi and you're you're with your friend like hey i know that guy he owns that business and like isn't that good like you have yeah. that connection yeah, right there. right 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 so if you're a business owner wouldn't you want have you wouldn't you want to have those people around you that would say to their friends hey i know that guy maybe we should eat there cuz like even if we're not close i know the guy i would rather eat there with the <laughs> with a person I know, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean, man. So don't burn bridges, guys. Big advice. <laughs> just be just be kind. Um don't be a dick. Don't basically. be a dick. Don't be a dick. <laughs> you don't need to be super close, just be cautious. Yeah. Be polite. Be just basically be a a likable human being. <laughs> <laughs> You don't yeah. need you don't need to go farther than that. You don't need to do them any favors. Just you know, yeah. Just when you meet yeah, them, yeah, yeah. don't tell them that their shirt is ugly or something like that. <laughs> it's it's not that hard, you know. <laughs> Old manners, man. Yeah. Okay, I think we're gonna stop at that and maybe continue next the next ones with in the next mm-hmm, podcast because like there are yeah. a lot. There were seventeen of this these things, and I didn't expect it to. <laughs> to be so good <laughs> I didn't expect it to be so good that I have a lot to say <laughs> we had so much to say we have so much examples I guess we've kind of experienced them huh it's it's yeah. really I I have to give props to the one who wrote this or the one who compiled these tips good job yeah. I'm gonna link this below so you, like more people could read if you want to read in yeah. advance before we talk about these other ones next time go ahead because it's really helpful if you're feeling mm-hmm. lost or feeling um, feeling down and depressed that you're not doing anything in your life, maybe the, these tips could help, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're nearing the ad- end of our episode, but like before that, we're going to play a little game. It's uh, it's going to be me versus Sophie, and we're going to do tongue twister. <laughs> We're going to yeah. recite some tongue twisters and it's um it's in a point system. So each of us are going to pick three numbers from this list we got, a list of 50 tongue twisters. Did you see the links of? Mhm, I'm opening it. Yeah, so we have 50 tongue twisters here and we're going to say three random random numbers and each of us are going to say the tongue twisters three times each of these random numbers. So let's say Sophie missed the first one. She made a mistake on the first tongue twister. So that she doesn't get a point. And like if I didn't make a mistake, I'm gonna get one point. So the mo- the person with the most points wins and the the loser's gonna <laughs> gonna give <laughs> the winner a freebie, iced coffee or yeah. something when we meet up. So it's just gonna be fun for us, but I hope you guys have fun too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I say hope your I... numbers. I hope I win. Yeah, I mm. hope I win. <laughs> <laughs> should I should I give like a random number? Yeah. I'm gonna go Maybe. first or twenty two. Two? Tw- twenty two. Twenty two. Okay, I'm gonna go I apparently I'm gonna go first. Oh man. Wait. Can I drink water first? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Uh, she actually picked something that I'm really bad at. I have. Oh, hey. I honestly have like 
I feel I have a self-diagnosed speech impediment where uh-huh. I have I have a hard time saying TH like three three or like something like that. It, <laughs> it it's my struggle as a voice artist by the way, guys. It's I am I'm learning to uh, that's why I do tongue twisters by the way, so so I could, you know, help myself. Yeah. But right. you gave me the bad the worst one. <laughs> Man, I'm the best. Before I say the three times, can I say the tongue twister first? That's what we're gonna do, okay? In a slow manner. In a slow manner. Um, it's he threw three free throws. That's the tongue twister. Twist twister. And I'm gonna say it. <laughs> I'm gonna say it three times. Okay. Yeah. Go. Go ahead. God damn it. He threw three free throws. He threw three free throws. He threw three free throws. That good? Yeah, yeah, actually, bad. Ah, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to give... Yeah. I got one point with that. And that was yeah, difficult, yeah. thank God. <laughs> um, I'm going to give Sophie number 11. Oh, dude, this is... <laughs> I have got a date at a quarter to eight. Let's see what the date is going to be like. Okay. This is a really long one. You're so evil. Okay. I am. Um, I've got a date at the quarter to eight. I'll see you at gate. No. <laughs> no. 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 I didn't say that. No backseas. No backseas. <laughs> no oh point God. for you, Sophie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, you're definitely going to pick one or two, person. right? <laughs> yeah. Two. I love number two. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. So the tongue twister no, actually, is. Yeah, you can do this easy if you have like a little beat going on, you know. Okay, I'm gonna say the tongue twister, twister slowly first. Betty Botter bought some butter. It's actually a known known tongue twister, but she said that the but she said the butter's bitter. Oh my god, I'm failing now. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. But a bit of better butter will make my batter better. So twas better Betty Botter bought a bit of better butter. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna say this three times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Betty Butter bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. But a bit of better butter will make my batter better. So twas Betty. Buck. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I got you. <laughs> I was, and it was going so well. <laughs> it was. Oh man, oh, it was shit. actually. I was getting a little scared there. <laughs> I won't be that evil. I'm gonna give you something from the end. Um, forty-seven. <clears throat> okay, so I have just one. I so the standing is one point for me, and I didn't get the next one. So Sophie can redeem herself. But oh wait, and no, no, no. Do it. It's gonna be raised to two. Okay, raised to two. Okay. Okay. So, I actually haven't heard of this one before. I slit the sheet. The sheet. You know what? I feel myself saying something else. If I, <laughs> if I, is this all right? It's right. Come I, on. Okay. Okay. I will definitely might say something else. I. It says, I slit the sheet. The sheet I slit. And on the slitted sheet, I sit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I definitely feel like I'm going to win. <laughs> <laughs> the, there's also the pressure of, of me. Like, I'm, ch- I'm going to try not to say the word. No, no. You know if, if, you, if you feel like it's going to come out, just yeah, come out. <laughs> let's let it go. <laughs> okay. Yo, that sounds... <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Anyone yeah, watching? Okay, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? Mm-hmm. I'm going to try it. I slit the sheet, the sheet I slit, another slitted sheet I sit. I slit the sheet, the sheet I slit, another sl- eh. No! Fuck yes! No! <laughs> My tongue went all the slither, slither on the slit. I know. This is why tongue twisters are so. Th- we, we should play this next time with a guest. I'm, we want to see them suffer, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, all right. Okay, give me a number. Hmm. What about? Oh, 
40. 40? Yes. Okay. Oh my. Okay. The tongue twister is truly rural. God damn. <laughs> mm. <laughs> truly rural. Mm -hmm. Okay. One, two, three, go. Truly rural, truly rural, truly rural. Does that sound okay? <laughs> you made it. Okay, maybe Damn. race to three or you want to... Okay, here. I'm going to give Sophie a chance. I'm going to give Sophie Okay. a chance. So I'm at two right now and I said that we su we're supposed to be... I'm supposed to win. At, I'm supposed to win at two. If she gets this one, um, she gets two points and we're going to have a thunder light uh, lightning round to get one more. Hmm. Okay, and we're going to have the same tongue twister on that last round. If she does get this. <laughs> and if she doesn't, she's going to have to libre me a scoffe. <laughs> sure <laughs> all right fine okay, uh, you're going to get... This is random, by the way. I'm not looking at the thing. 26. Wayne Okay. went to will to watch water Okay. Wayne went to Let's go, so. Wayne went to Wales to watch walruses. Wayne went to Wales to watch walruses. Wayne went to Wales to watch walruses. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Finally. Light, lightning round. I'm going to let you say the number and do, do it randomly. Don't, don't, don't pick it. Like, yeah. Number How, what? 18? Okay. <laughs> um, how are we gonna decide? Like, who's gonna say it first? Hmm. Let's try it both. Uh, and you first, because like ladies first, of course. And like, if someone messes up, then. One of us wins, but if no one messes up, we're going to have to pick another one. Okay? All right. And, then, and, and then the next one, if we don't mess up the both of us, I'm going to pick again, you know? Mm hmm Okay, This I is get fun. it, get it. Let's go, let's go. Ed so it says Eddie edited it. Eddie edited it. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. <clears throat> Eddie edited it. Eddie edited it. Eddie edited it. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to say it too. Okay. One, two, three. Eddie edited it. Eddie edited it. Eddie edited it. You look so scared. No, because like I, I have, I'm, I've, I've run through this tongue twister before and it's always kill. It always kills me. So I was so scared. You made it though. Yeah, I know. Because like, and I'm training myself to have it like in an American accent too. It's like, it's like edit it. Edit it. <laughs> edit it. Edit it. <laughs> edit Edit it. Edit <laughs> edit. yeah. Yes. I didn't try to do the American accent because it's easier to. <laughs> I know, I know it's so much more easier if it's not, but like oh, I just really I just really had to push myself. Very good. Yeah, I love <laughs> it. I love that. okay. Uh random number twenty <laughs> five. <laughs> wow. Twenty-five. Okay. And I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna go first because you know. Yeah, it says four fine fresh fish for you. Oh man, I feel like I'm gonna suck at this. One, two, three, go. Four and. F <laughs> You already, you already messed it up. okay, you try. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking lose at this game. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, Okay. go Mm. ahead. Let Uh me try. I'll say it normally. Let me try to say it normally first. -huh. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. So, four. I feel like I'm going to say it already. Four fine fresh fish for you. Okay. I'll do it. <laughs> I almost said it too. Yeah. You said. Yeah, I know. Okay, okay, okay. Four fine fresh fish for you. Four fine fresh fish for you. Four fine fresh fish for you. Turns out I'm gonna make, <laughs> I'm gonna give her iced coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Oh, Let's man. do this. 
Oh, that was fun. That was a fun game. Maybe we could do that again. And the Would You Rather one was fun too. Yeah. I okay. Really had fun. I really had fun talking to you, so man. This is another Me chill too. podcast for the both of us. And guys, we're actually trying to expect guests the next for the next one because, you know, it, we need other <laughs> people's perspective as well, not just ours. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure you all are going to be interested to hear about guests. For sure, for sure, for sure. It's not going to be two bricks in this podcast anymore. It's going to be like three grids now. So, like, mm-hmm. look forward to yeah. that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And we're going to have a lot more to talk about next time. I'm going to say the outro. Thank you so much, guys, for watching and listening. Again, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, like the page. If you could see the link in the, in the description, please go ahead and click it. There are tons of discounts and surprises there that you might like. We are the Howl Diaries podcast on Spotify. Look for Howl PH on Facebook and on YouTube. To get more intimate with us, you can follow us on Instagram. That's H-O-W-L-P-H and S-F-Q-Z-N-12. On Instagram, send us a DM if you have a topic or a suggestion, we might, and we might talk about it on the next one. Thank you, and have an awesome day, guys. Peace. Nice. <laughs>